black people is the biggest consumer in this world, man. Let's get straight into it, bro. Yo, YouTube, what y'all got going on, man? Why black people is the most consumers and the less producers in this world, man. The reason, bro, I'm jumping into this topic is because, bro, I had a previous interview. I had a previous um, sit down. So it's, it's gonna be right here. If y'all ain't watch that, y'all tune that. Y'all tune into that. But you know, as the weeks going by, man, I'm doing. I'm doing more research. I'm doing more. You know, insights. Getting more insights on, like, why are we the most consumers, bro? Why are we the most spending? Why we got the most spending power, and the less producers? You feel me? We got the less producers, but we got the most spending powers. That means that we got an open womb of giving money, but we can't produce money like other other race, other nations and stuff like that. And that and that, if you sit down, bro, I'm sitting down, man. That's, it, that's, that crap, that shit is crazy, bro, because we spend over a trillion dollars every year, bro. Look at it, bro. And you just look at the mistakes, you feel me, or the... Um, the culture that you've been a part of since you was young, like the Jordan culture, you feel me? We spent bread on drugs, weed, all that shit. We spent our last on weed, we spent our last on shoes, we spent our last on jewelry, clothes, foods, and everything like that. But we don't spend to invest. We never spend to invest, bro. But I understand that's a generational curse, and that's a um, that's just a generational cycle and stuff like that. You just blind leading the blind and stuff like that. But at the same time, it's crazy because we produce we consume and stuff like that we consume the most and everything like that we consume a lot of things we always the biggest consumers but we don't produce anything we the less producers bro we produce stuff but it's nothing to compare to the, the other nations nothing compared to the other nations that we gotta you feel me um live by and live against and stuff like that but at the same time look at the chinese bro the chinese never the Chinese never have to worry about spending money outside of their race. The white folks, the Indians, the Native Americans, they never have to worry about spending money outside of their race, bro. It's always us, bro. We got to go to Gucci. We got to go to Louis Vuitton. We got to go to other restaurants. We got to go to Chinese restaurant. Why do you think there's a Chinese restaurant in every freaking hood in America, bro? It's a cycle, bro. This is a projection. This is a project that the system, the white government created in America, bro. This shit crazy, bro. But at the same time, they put this shit to blind y'all. Make it a matrix. Make it a, just the way it is. That to make you get in the mindset just to show that, hey, that's just the way it is. Don't pay no mind, bro. Just be a sheep. Be a blind sheep and everything. Just follow the ways and everything like that. Because I'm realizing and I'm taking it day by day. Like, bro, when you're speaking the truth, bro, we stand with the truth. You're not, you're not trying to be with. You're trying to stand out, be different. You're not trying to be with the crowd and because you know the crowd ain't going nowhere. Everybody just covering each other is just blindly the blind monkey see monkey do. You're not gonna be like, bro. You're not gonna be like uh, compared to them. And I'm okay with that because fuck people, bro. I don't give a fuck about being like. I'm not here to be like. I'm here for my God calling, my God given purpose, and why I'm on this planet. You feel me? So it's like at the same time, it's like we gotta look at it like as this, bro. Like why are we the most spending? power and the most um race that spends a lot instead of creating our own because we don't create com look at compared to the shoe store let's say for example shoe companies we gotta go to china to get our manufacturing and everything like that because we don't create bro we gotta be producers bro because at the same time it's like we go into other nations to get our things and stuff like that we go into other nations to produce things and stuff like that we got to produce our own come to the black community because you got countries like haiti jamaica you know are part of the 12 tribes the 12 tribe that got that's metal in our skin color that could create and produce stuff but no instead we go to china we go to others russia other stuff other nations other nationalities and stuff like that to produce but at the same time we got to be more producers because if we don't spend money and and keep the cycle going in our race we're gonna have to go to another race and then that will lead a, a hole that will lead a leak in our you feel me sec in our cycle that will lead a leak in our cycle and i'll lead a leak in our you feel me our culture our black culture cycle and how we move and everything that i mean it's already a leak bro if you look at it it's like 
bro, look at, you feel me, the food industry, bro. We mostly eat with white or people outside of our country. Some, and I'm I'm starving, you feel me, to eat more black-owned businesses, restaurants, and everything like that. Look at the shoe companies. Look at the, you feel me, look at the freaking clothes you wear. Look at the thing. Like, you got to support black more businesses if you're, you feel me, of this nation. And the same for the other nations, you feel me? If you're Russia, you feel me, Native American, then you got to most likely spend more with your nation crop because you keeping that circle you feel me get you keeping that cycle that circle going through and going in you feel me you keeping that cycle of money coming through coming in within your race and that's imperative because you don't want to um empower the other race and you're not leaving nothing for your kids because it's a it's a, it's a very very cruel cold world and if you don't have nothing you feel me just um if you don't have nothing in stored or inheritance for your kids, bro, nobody will do it for them, but they're gonna have to get out the mud exactly how you did. That's why it's called breaking a generational curse. Somebody gotta break the generational curse, bro. Somebody gotta break the generational curse, bro. It's, it's crazy what be going on, but it's like, it's crazy how much information and facts that they hide from us. You feel me? They hide from us because they wanna keep us in the rut. They wanna keep us in that matrix. They wanna keep us in that, in that, poverty cycle generational poverty cycle bro and that shit is crazy because you gotta you gotta get the knowledge you gotta sneak the knowledge but it's not gonna come to you you gotta go to it bro and that's just the way the world is functioning because you know it's, it's a flawed world um because of um the curse at the same time it's like you gotta go to it bro because nobody gonna give it to you nothing is gonna be be given to you because they're already hiding it from you. So why would they give it to you? Same thing with the schools. Same with the public schools. Same with the college and stuff like that. Why would they want to teach something that empower you to um, to overcome them? Shout out to that boy Papa Duck. Why would they want to give you something, you feel me, to information and all that shit to empower, over, um, overpower them? That shit don't make sense because they are the real enemies, bro. But nah, a lot of niggas not ready for this conversation. They the real enemies, but they playing the puppet right and they're playing the director of making it seem like we are own enemies but a lot of people are not ready for that conversation man but you see you see what's going on bro we gotta spend money within our own culture our own system bro if you see your homeboy hustling bro if you see your homeboy got a clothing brand a, a restaurant thing but spend money with him bro so you could get that that money keep going in and keep that cycle going within your race, within your, you feel me, within your culture. And it's not a bad thing to spend money with the other cultures and everything like that, but most likely spend with, with your own people. You gotta support your own people because these are your kind, bro. Spend money with your, you see your homegirl hustling, she got a boutique, she got a, you feel me, she got a clothing bag, she got a hair salon, stuff like that, and they got a um, beauty salon and stuff like that. Why we gotta go to the Chinese people to cop hair or do our fingers and nails and stuff like that? We got to do that stuff. If you see your your friend, you feel me, you wash feet or she do some type of hustling business and stuff like that. She have some entrepreneurship, business tech savvy shit. Spend money with her, you feel me? Because that's within your own race. That's within your own cycle, man. I'll go to the most high God, but we got to spend more, more, you feel me? got to spend and shop with our own culture, our own race, our own, you feel me, our own people. Children of Israel, bro. You gotta wake up and see, you feel me? That's the people who we're supposed to be supporting. It's not a, like I said, I'm not saying don't support other races and stuff like that, but most likely have a balance. This life is all about balance, man. Have a balance. You don't want to be too over thing, too over wicked, too over righteous, man. Even in the word it said, don't be over too wicked or over righteous. Have a balance. You gotta keep it with your race and keep with the other race, but most likely spend more with them in a few more with them you feel me just a little bit more so you could you feel me empower your race that's why we so behind as black people we so behind because the education they fed to us the knowledge we have we're blind leading the blind and we won't wake up we accept we accept being behind we accept being the last you feel me when in reality we're the first but they just blind us with the message stuff like that they don't want to hear that but it's a lot of stuff, you man. It's a lot of stuff you gotta un, you feel me, unwire, you feel me, to the church system, to everything, to to the school system, all that stuff. It's a lot of stuff you gotta unwire, bro. But it's it's a lot, man. It's a, it's a it's a process, a working journey process, man. You better ask God for some, you feel me, guidance through this shit because it can lot it can make a lot of people go cuckoo crazy how 
much effed up our races and how much they put it that man y'all like comment subscribe man y'all y'all you feel me if, if this was you feel me if this was educational or edifying but y'all could share it share with people to realize you feel me wake these people up and see like damn like we really behind but you feel me we gotta do more investing stop more stop doing more spending you feel me for sure you know we brought in 1.3 trillion dollars last year as a people mm. Out of 226 nations on the earth, that makes black people in America the eighth richest nation. We brought in $600 billion more than, than Spain. $700 billion more than Mexico. Yet Spain has 46 million people like we do, and they maintain a 208,000 square mile land mass, and they have their own everything. Mexico has 131,700,000 people, and they're maintaining 771,500 square miles with half the money we have. Yet they have whole countries, and we don't have nothing we can call our own. Something happened to us. We, we got to get back into what, what they call today uh, 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 financial literacy. But we got to do it quick because we got to start doing something uh, for ourselves. We got the dollars. We just need some more sense to go with them dollars we got we need some more sense because right now we the leaders in unnecessary spending we always buying stuff we don't need with money that we don't have from people that we don't like to impress people that we don't even know and the negro the black mind right now has been hardwired where happiness is connected to spending when it needs to be hardwired to investing and in to save and if we can renegotiate the contract in the black black psyche well happiness to spending to investing and saving i think we'll be able to build a bright future for our people